So the M4 Mac Mini is here and I finally upgraded. But was it worth the wait? In this video, I'll tell you why I held out this long, why I think this might be the best Mac for most people and whether it's still worth buying in 2025. Let me start with a bit of context. I've been using a 2017 MacBook Pro 15 inch for everything. That is video editing, scripting, thumbnails, the whole deal. And it's held up surprisingly well, but as my YouTube channel has grown, I wanted something that improved my productivity. I didn't want to upgrade just for the sake of upgrading. I wanted to wait until the M chip on the Max really matured. So this Mac Mini had to check off a lot of boxes. And with the M4 Mac Mini, I think we're finally there. To save a bit of cash, I've opted for the base version of the M4 Mac Mini with 16 gigabytes of unified memory and 256 gigabytes SSD. This is the version I believe most people should go for. Instead of spending all my cash on a eternal storage upgrade from Apple, I combined the Mac Mini with the hub stand from Satechi. This stand is a must-have in my opinion, giving access to two USB 2.0 hubs, a SD card reader in the front, and the best part is a M2 NVMe SSD enclosure to store an extra external drive there, giving me basically an extra one terabyte of storage where I can keep all my edits. I've also paired the M4 Mac Mini with an extra two terabyte SSD for backups. And all of that is still cheaper than upgrading your eternal storage from Apple. Now, this thing is tiny. But don't let the size fool you. Size don't matter all the time. It's quiet, fast, and kind of shockingly powerful. And what I love the most, it just disappears into my setup. No fan noise, no heat, just pure focus. Now, I'm not here to throw specs at you, but what you will notice is how fast everything just feels on the M4 Mac Mini. Apps open instantly, CapCut renders feels effortless, and if you're like me, juggling a YouTube channel or something creative while doing some productive work and general browsing, this Mac Mini is more than enough for you. As a bonus, you can actually finally play some games on this thing without any issues. I have been gaming Hades too, and the lies of P lately, and they have both ran perfectly. I think the M4 Mac Mini is perfect if you already have a monitor, keyboard, and a mouse, and you just want a clean, efficient setup. It's way cheaper than the Mac Studio, and unless you're doing any heavy 3D work or multi-cam 8K editing every day, this handles most tasks with ease. So here's how I see it. Instead of constantly chasing the next thing, build a solid setup that will last for a while. This Mac Mini gave my whole workspace new life, especially paired with the Apple Studio Display. This without me needing to go all in on an expensive MacBook or Mac Studio. And because it's a desktop, it's always ready. I just tap my keyboard, unlock it with my Apple Watch, and I'm back to work. Now, I still have my 2017 MacBook Pro, but that is now my girlfriend's laptop. And for myself, I've bought the iPad Pro M4 as my portable computer, but more on that in another video. The Mac Mini has become the heart of my home setup, and maybe it's okay to have a separate device just for mobility. So, is the M4 Mac Mini still worth it in 2025? The answer is, Absolutely, 
The M4 Mac Mini is probably the best value Mac desktop right now. And I'm probably gonna guess that it's gonna be the best value desktop for quite a while going forward. It's efficient, powerful, quiet, and future-proof for most users. And if you're like me, holding on to old gear, trying to get the most out of what you have, this is gonna be a massive leap forward that feels just right. If you're otherwise on the fence, I'd say just go for it. But only if you need the upgrade. Otherwise, hang in tight until your workflow really demands a upgrade when it comes to your laptop or computer. Let me know in the comments, are you upgrading or still holding out like I did? If you've liked this one, I've got more Mac Mini videos on the way, setups, tips, beginner guides, and how to get the most out of your M-chip Mac Mini. Now, if you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button, and hey, maybe even subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.